Hey everybody, it's Kent Koopas here, and welcome back to some more Psychonauts. In the last part, we went around the camp, and we got a bunch of collectibles, and in this part, we are gonna go and continue on the story now. First thing I want to say, uh, you probably heard this a lot throughout the last video. This is because I changed some recording settings, like on the mic, so it picks this up a lot clearer. Like, unfortunately, I can't stop it, just because basically it's me moving my mouse and sliding it, like, repositioning repositioning it Jesus I'm gonna try and control that a little more than I can't I have been but yeah um, fortunately this cutscene saved here so I'm oh no it didn't never mind anyhow we're gonna go into the thingy here the GCC of whatever yes I may everybody name it the GCC Asia Asia what's the GCC Asia GCC Asia say that five times fast anyhow what you want to do is just put the button in GCGGGC the HHDVDVDVD player. Jesus. All right, and we're gonna go down here, and this is the entrance to Sasha's Agent secret nine? lab. I'm here for the advanced training. All right, now what you get? What's really fun to do in this That's area? That's cleaning lady. I'll get those files out of your way just as soon as I'm done with these tests. That's a fancy way of saying I'm lazy and I don't feel like cleaning shit. And personally, I don't blame them. Cleaning is boring. Alright, so I'm just applying some Vaseline because I have a bad skin condition. That cannot be cured. So, yeah. But I'm going to try and limit how much I do that thing with my mouse. I'm, unfortunately, I can't really control it any more than I can. I'm going to try, like, if I can, to cut out moments like that in my recording. So but what are we going to learn? Bending spoons? Burning stuff? That's a good question. We, we yes. can, of course. Ouch. I love how when you hit him, yes. Yes. he just yes. like goes. Ouch. Just kind of goes. Uh, okay, we're done. Let's talk. I've been hearing a lot about head explosion, and I was wondering. Science, Rasputin. That is what we practice down here, not parlor tricks. If you are serious about exploring the possibilities of your mind, Step up to the brain tumbler, and we'll begin. Brain tumbler? This seems safe. So, what's this hairdryer thing do? Ah, you're ready for the brain tumbler. With this device, we will send you deep into your own psyche, where you should find unparalleled insight and power. Excellent! Tumble away. Now just relax. This will not hurt. Unless something really very bad happens. Wow! Is this what the inside of my mind looks like? Not yet. You're still traveling to the astral plane. This is a tiny corner of what we call the collective unconscious, a place in which all of our unconscious minds are connected. You have just begun your training, Rasputin, so many of the connections with other minds are still not developed for you, and those doorways remain just out of reach. But the more you explore the mental world, the more connections you will form. Right now, the only unconscious world you can enter is that one, your own. Step through it, and we'll continue. So yeah, this is the collective unconscious. This is pretty much like, like the hub world for the um, for the mental world. So anyway, yeah, as you can see, this is kind of going to give you like a preview. These are all the levels in the game. Of course, you can't really tell anything just by looking at them. But yeah, there's something I actually want to see there. Yeah, look at that. There's a weird little figment there. I'm not sure what that's for, but... Can't really get over... Okay, never mind. I'm just gonna jump off, apparently, because I'm an idiot. And we are just gonna go ahead and start the next mental world. Ooh. And I apparently don't know how to walk. Into the thing, and... Rasputin, can you hear me? Sasha? Where am I? You are inside your own mind, but I'm not sure where. Tell me, what can you see? I see a run-down gypsy caravan. Do you recognize it? Yes. It's where I was born. I see. Compelling. I don't know what's so compelling about a freaking... 
thingy, but whatever. Anyway, what you want to do here is um, get all these figures right off the bat. Make sure that you get all of them here. Sasha, I'm going inside the caravan. No, we're not going to. see inside? Where is this? Get this! Jesus. Alright, now we're just going to hit the vault, and let's see what Raz is hiding. Get over here. I hate these things so much. Get over here. Jesus, thank you. Christ. Rasputin's getaway. So as you can see here, Rasputin was in the circus that's already been covered until he gets that pamphlet. <laughs> Love that. Lifting 70 pounds with his legs. That's so stupid. It was kind of showing this. This is kind of just giving backstory as to why he ran away, how he ran away. And then arriving at uh, the Whispering Rocks. I believe that's everything. Yep, there we go. And now, without further ado, let's enter the... This is the top of the fourth wall again, isn't it? Okay. I'm not sure. It's getting fuzzy. Now, this actually confused me for a while. You're actually... No, I'll figure it out. I'm sure you will. Maybe what you want to do is just... Aha! Rasputin, are you okay? What do you see now? I see a small... Bunny-like animal thing. Hmm. An unfamiliar animal entity in a dream often represents a primal fear or memory. Follow it, and it should lead you somewhere important. Check. Okay, Mr. Bun. You and I are gonna be tight. Wherever you go, I go. Like two peas in a... Hey! Come back here! Alright, so now we enter Raz's own mind. Uh, and I'm gonna be truthfully honest, I hate this area. I mean, well, yeah, it looks threatening and whatnot. Compared to most of the other levels in the game, I think it's pretty boring. I don't know why, I just. I never liked this level at all. And you know, we're just gonna collect figments, get as much of this out of the way as you can. And these weird things are annoying as hell. Um, those weird enemies you can only damage if when they are extended. And we got a random slab of meat here, which you can hit for health if you so please. And you're gonna hit me. Why did they turn it? And seriously, this level just makes no sense, and that's not very interesting. Hey, look at that! We ranked up to level 10. New PSI powers available. Now, when I first played the game, this made no freaking sense to me. It just says, go see Fort Kreller. But by this point, I haven't done much explore. I didn't do much exploring, so I had no idea what it meant by go see him. And, yeah, I'll show you what, what they mean in a sec. Well, act quite literally, like, after we're done this cutscene. Sasha? What is it? Another bunny? No. This is more of a super scary flaming-eyed demon kind of deal. Oh. Hmm. What? Okay, I'm pulling you out of there. Just give me a second. Uh, Sasha? Hold on, I'm still getting some unusual interference. It's fascinating. As if someone else... Was... Agent 9? Sorry. Almost ready. Sasha! Ah! Hmm. That should not have happened. We need to try that again. Oh. I don't think I need to be in the tumbler with the glowy eye guys anymore. Suit yourself. You know, in many tribal societies, learning to defeat the monsters you see in your dreams is considered a rite of passage. I can train you to fight. Come see me when you're ready. Do you know in some tribal areas, like it's normal to sacrifice your children to the gods? Maybe you should try that, if we're going along stuff like that. Okay, I'm ready to learn how to really fight. Oh, really? Hmm. What? Uh, nothing. It's just that I didn't think you'd really take me up on that offer. It usually scares the kids off. Well, not me. I'm ready to kill for my camp. Listen, I'm sorry, but I can't train you. Agent Vodello would kill me. What's the big deal? What she doesn't know won't hurt her. You don't even have a marksmanship learner's permit. I could lose my job. 
I'll get one. Even if you used that secret passage over there and snuck into his sanctuary, Agent Crawler would never give you a marksmanship learner's permit. Agent Crawler? Never in a million... I'm off. Be right back after I talk with Agent Crawler. Alright, now this is something I have... Thank you, Rasputin, for helping me clean up. Please shut up. Anyhow, this is something I've been trying to avoid showing. As you may have noticed around the camp, there were these uh, weird tree stumps. If you jump into one of them... Hey! Welcome to the Whispering Rocket Underground Rapid Transit System. Would you like to go back to your private sanctuary now, Agent Kreller? Or somewhere else? So pretty much it's a cart operated by a phone sex operator. This is like the greatest thing ever. Why can't I have this? Just have a phone sex operating freaking cart to drive me around wherever I want it. So anyhow, this can let you go to any area of the... Uh, sorry. Any area of the... Um, the, the campground. Jesus! Anyway, but where you're required to go is Fort Sanctuary, which is an area we haven't been to yet. And this is actually where you're supposed to go if you want to get your um, powers from leveling up. So without further ado... Let's go to Fort's... I mean, my sanctuary. Yes, noble psycho master. And I'm going to be skipping that dialogue, you know, anytime we come down here. finally made it. It's an honor to finally meet you in person, sir. I thought I recognized you in my dream, but I couldn't be sure. Now that I see you in your element, there's no doubt. You're Fort Cruller, the greatest leader the Psychonauts ever had. Well, you shouldn't believe everything you read in True Psychic Tales magazine. In recognition of your hard work, dedication, and mental agility, I'm proud to bestow upon you the official merit badge for Pyrokinesis. Cool. I can't wait to burn... Hey, what are we doing here? Inside your mind? Well, I thought you'd like to be in a familiar place for your first pyrokinesis lesson. Lesson? Shh, now, now, think of something you'd like to burn. Ah, oh, yes, I heard you were raised in the circus. Uh, but why would you want to burn all these happy memories here? If they were happy memories, I wouldn't have run away. My dad, he hates psychics. And he knew I was becoming one. So all day long he would force me to practice my acrobatics, hoping to distract me, or maybe hoping to kill me. I never was sure. And why are you still talking when you could be burning stuff? Confused? Alrighty, I'm gonna take a step back here and we're just gonna kind of explain what's going on here. So first of all, if you're if this is your first time playing through the game, you shouldn't already be at level ten. You should just barely be grasping the concepts of collecting figments, basic platforming, you know, stuff like that. But anyhow, what was supposed to happen was you come down here, then talk to Ford Crawler about the marksmanship learner's per permit, but since we're at level 10, we instead got our first power, pyrokinesis. And this is just what you do. Every time you reach a certain level, when the game tells you, you go to Ford Crawler and you can get a new power. So yeah, it's not like every 10 levels you get a new power, no, something like that. It's well, until about level 40, I think that's the case, something like that. But anyhow, these are um, required. If you want to complete the game, you've got to get these uh, these merit badges. So be sure to rank up as fast as you can to save a lot of stuff. So anyhow, finally, about halfway through the game, we can finally um, get... Shut up, I'm going to go over here just so we don't have to listen to you. But we finally... Ah, we can finally get into the concept of your powers. As you can see here, you can uh, hit you can hit your thing here. Your these are your PSI powers, and you can then assign them to whatever you want. I'm going to assign it to right click for the time being. So this is pyrokinesis. You can you can light targets on fire. So in this case, we're just going to right click. 
Yes, hold down right great, click great. and burn. Burn the rest. You're getting warmer. Keep going. Now, normally there's supposed to be a meter that shows burn you like all. how close you are to lighting them on fire, but I don't have that thanks to my screen resolution. Come on, now, just look at something. Whoa, it's getting hot in here. Rasputin, lock your mental focus on this last one and hold it while you use your pyrokinesis power. Now, this is something we also haven't got into: mental locking. When you see like a target, when you see a target like this, for example, an enemy, hold down the lock key, you can do it. and this is kind of like your auto lock. So yeah, so we can hold down, Think heat. and we can. It's not fire. Is the, is the meter there? Excellent work. Fire is pretty. Okay, that's the end of the lesson. You're free to go, but you have to promise me only use your power of pyrokinesis only when it's very, very important or it's really, really entertaining. <laughs> I promise. And if you're doing it to impress girls, make sure none of them have on a lot of hairspray. <laughs> so, yeah, so now that we're done uh, our first pyrokinesis lesson, let's go ahead and talk to him. You know, we we could talk to him about all this other stuff here. This gives a lot of backstory. I should. Yeah, I'm going to. I don't really want to because it eats up a lot of time. So the rest of this video, I think it's just going to be us talking to Agent Crawler, unfortunately. What are you doing here at Whispering Rock? This trading facility is built right smack on top of the largest Citadium deposit known to man. It runs under this whole valley and makes this a very critical area for the Psychonauts. So I'm here to look after it and to make sure you little spoonbenders don't kill each other. <laughs> so yeah, now it kind of explains the origin of Whisper Rocks, but now Citanium is actually kind of an important plot point for later on, so yeah. What's Citanium? Titanium is a very rare psychoreactive mineral that crashed here on a meteorite hundreds of years ago. It responds to psychic waves, focuses them, amplifies them. It can make psychics more psychic, but it can also make unstable people more unstable. Not everyone can handle that much activity in that part of their brain. It can drive them completely out of their gourd. Gives this valley an interesting history. Hmm? Yeah, you don't say. I saw you raking leaves. Was that a disguise? Uh, yes. Well, well, I have many disguises. It helps me keep an eye on you kids wherever you go. <laughs> now, <clears throat> when I'm in disguise, I may pretend not to recognize you. Don't blow my cover, okay? Say no more. Your secret identity is safe with me. That's another important plot point, so keep that in mind. So, what mission are you on down here? Well, from here I can monitor world events, look for signs of psychic terrorism, ripples in the astral plane. And then fly out and save the day, right? You've got a jet hidden here somewhere, I'll bet. Well, you know, these days I'm really just more of a, a dispatcher. I spot the trouble and send out a, a, a younger agent, like Mia or Sasha. Or maybe you someday. What does all this equipment do? Well, up here, it's all in terror. Down that hallway is the observation room. No tests going on in there right now. Maybe later. And beneath us, I have special machines for rebuilding side challenge markers and detangling mental cobwebs. You should go familiarize yourself with those. They'll come in pretty handy for you. All right, so now that we're done talking with the optional stuff, this is all you need to say. If you don't want to, you know, talk to Ford or anything, this is the only thing you need to ask. Sasha says I need to learn how to fight better. He wants to teach you advanced combat on your first day? Yeah. I had a vision with a huge monster with yellow eyes and a big mouth full of gnashing teeth. Did it happen to spit anything at you? Yeah. I think it was like an old diving helmet or something. I see. Hmm. Yes, well, we'd better get you armed. Why? What's happening? Oh, nothing, nothing. P prepare your mind. That's the motto of the Psychonauts. <clears throat> Here, this is a marksmanship learner's permit. It will only work when you're in Sash's mind. Once you complete his shooting range, you'll get the real merit badge, and you can side blast anywhere you want. Thanks. Side blast? No, oh, you'll find out. Now get going. We can't have the camp overrun with big-eyed garbage spitting monsters, can we? No, sir. All right, I so with go. that... Good luck. Thanks. I'll need it. Don't worry. I'll be right here with you. 
inside your head. Oh, I forgot about this. My head? Yep. I want to keep my eye on you, son, so I'm going to be a psychic stowaway inside your noggin. If you ever want to make me appear, you can do it with this special device. Is that a piece of bacon? Oh, yeah. I just love bacon. I smell that stuff and I can't help it. I drop everything and come running. Okay. Do you have, like, a little baggie or something I could put this in? You get a move on or I'll eat that right here. Yeah, that's pretty much if I was a psychic. Oh, it's bacon? Alrighty. Oh, someone's putting a gun to my head. Sorry, there's bacon off in the distance. So anyway, this is just like a normal item. You can equip this. It's not really useful. You can just use it to like get information on enemies. Stuff like that. You never need to use this, really. It's just kind of there if you need it. So anyhow, before we end off this episode, I want to go over these machines down here because they're highly important. Actually, before we do, I believe there is a sign. Now, before you go electrocuting yourself, let me tell you how these babies Okay, fine, are. you explain now, it. Now, this Absolutely. beauty here is a mental cobweb detangler. Oh, I know what those are. Mental cobwebs are... You see, when an area of your psyche is neglected for too long, mental cobwebs form. Now, up in the camp store, they sell a very special device known as a mental cobweb duster. You can take a projection of it into the mental world with you and use it to extract any cobwebs you find. The dust stores the cobweb's psychic energy on the real world side. So, you can take what you collect back here, hook it up to the loom, and weave that tangled mess into something useful. Like a card from a side challenge marker. Which brings us to this fella over here. You put nine side cards into this guy, along with one side core, also sold in the company store for a nominal fee. Cross and it will promo. Kick out a bona fide side challenge market, which will earn you a promotion to a higher rank. Rank up enough, you'll earn new psychic abilities. You got it? Put my mental cobwebs in there, and my side cards and cores in there. Yep, basically. Have fun. Alright, so he has explained this is what you want to do if you get cobwebs or you want to build side challenge markets. You gotta use these two machines. But we're not gonna use them for a while because. Yeah. I'm lazy. And I wanna get a bunch of promotions at once because I think it's awesome. But anyhow, this part's getting really long. I'm really sorry for like the lack of content and the lack of really good commentary because it's like, oh, two o'clock at night right now, and I kind of just was in the mood to record, but then I got tired the more I started to record, and then we got to these kind of boring parts that I couldn't really say anything about just due to how... Actually, I think I can get this. Okay, I thought you needed a, a different power to get this, so anyhow, there's another card. And with that, we are going to end it off here. The next part, we are going to start Sasha's uh, shooting gallery, which is the next level in the game, and get our uh, marksman sh marksmanship, uh, whatever it's called. Marksmanship, I'm sorry, what it's called. It's actually called the side. We're going to get our badge. How about that? There we go. And with burning... I train you in that so you could set me on fire. Now knock it off. And with us trying to burn Agent Crawler, we're going to end it off here. So I thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time. I know, you can't set them on fire, it sucks.